Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have literally only just decided to do this video. I've just seen Just Martine do this video, but basically I'm going to be starting a new book every single day for a month. I'm starting this on the 7th of March, so I'm just gonna do this until the 6th of April, um, just to make it easier. Don't know how many days that is. Now, I have incidentally ended up starting this video without before even realizing I was going to do this video um, because I started Knife Skills for Beginners by Orlando Murin. Literally this book has just been calling my name so I picked it up this morning. I have currently read 59 pages of the book so that's a pretty good starting point. I think that works out at just under 20% according to Goodreads. What I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of all the books that I start each day um, and also what she did is she kept track of how many was on her TBR. So to start with I'm just going to run off what's on my TBR. No, not TBR, what's on my currently reading. Jeez. So the first one I'm not technically counting because I've kind of soft DNF'd it. When I do go back to it I won't reread, I'll just continue on. But that is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Paolini. I was like 178 pages through and honestly it's an 800 page book and I think at the time mentally I just didn't want to. Then I've got The Mage and the Magpie um, by Austin Bailey. Then the next one that I'm in the middle of is Assistant to the Villain by Hannah Nicole Mayer. Then I've got House of Earth and Blood. I am reading this for my reading highest rated and lowest rated Goodreads book. And then I'm reading Beach Read by Emily Henry. Then I decided to start Daisy Hates, which is the second book in the Magnolia Park series. And then as I mentioned, Knife Skills for Beginners. Um, which again, as I mentioned, I was like 60 pages through. Ideally, I should obviously get through some of the books that I'm currently reading. The likes of Knife Skills for Beginners and Beach Read are going to be easier. And in some ways, Daisy Hates as well, because the, what, 22 pages of it that I had read captivated me. Like, they had they hooked me right from the start i think what i'm gonna do for this challenge is do a mix of some of just like random books that i've got but then also try to do the ones on my tbr for this month just because obviously that's a lot of basically i haven't started any of those books yet so it will, this will be fun i think in some ways i'm going to try and be creative and start videos that can incorporate those books just because at least then that way it feels not a waste of time eh? like some of them won't be for videos but i think it would be good to incorporate try to incorporate some in like videos if that makes sense like if you get what i mean um but yeah there's the intro hope you enjoy okay so day two is basically the end of day two at this point i've got like three minutes left um so i kind of cheated for today and the sense that there was a book where I'd listened to most of the audiobook, then Libby had returned it, and there was like a long wait, um, and then I've just been able to get it, and I've picked it up, and I've like started listening to it again. Um, so I've continued listening to Offer from a Gentleman. I was already like 65% of the way through when I picked it up back up today. Um, so it is cheating. It does mean that ending this day, I am in, well, I'm ending this day with eight on my currently reading. Obviously, technically isn't the greatest. Okay, so it's now day three of this challenge. I, so I started the book literally just after midnight because it was like, I didn't know whether I was going to go to sleep after work. I started the spare room on my Kindle. I got it through um, Prime. Um, and I've just kind of started it. I think I read, I want to say two chapters, which I think works out at around 7%-ish. Yeah, so I've read 7%. Also, it's by Laura Starkey, by the way. Um, but yeah, I've started that. I don't know what I'm going to read 
today whether I'm going to finish a book. Am I going to? Probably not because of how freaking tired I am and the fact that I need to stay awake for a little bit longer. Just a few more hours um, and then call it an early night. Um, I'm probably not going to read more tonight which would take my currently reading up to nine which isn't great but also maybe I'll do some reading tomorrow. So it is now the next day like right at the end of the next day. Um, I haven't yet started today's book. It feels like ages since I started a book, but that's because I'd started the spare room like 30 minutes into yesterday. Anyway, I had work today, um, finished at like half eight and I've kind of just been chilling, watching some YouTube, um, because Ellen uploaded her like birthday book haul. Um, so I was just kind of seeing that. Anyway, the book that I am going to start for today is The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. Never read any of her books. I was deciding between this and The Locked Door. Um, and it was kind of like, you know what, let's just go for this. Because I plan to go to the works in like a week's time because of hopefully the wake up call by beth o'leary will be um at the works um so i'm hoping that i can pick it up then and my thought is is that because the housemate's seek the housemaid's secrets is two pound fifty my thought would be that if i enjoy this i'll pick up the sequel um like i know there's three books in total currently only like two are in the works that's kind of today's book and as, to be fair, as long as I read a page before midnight, then I've started it today. I think this would take my t currently reading up to nine, I think. Um, I've got about a hundred pages of Beach Read left to go. Um, so I'm close to finishing a book. Yeah, this isn't even on my TBR. Currently, none of them are standing out to me. One of them I really want to read, but I want to do it in for like part of a video that i've got planned um um i've literally just got one lamp on and i could very much do this actually though um so we are now on to officially picking day 11s so we are now officially picking day 11's book it's currently quarter past 10. i don't know what book i want to pick but little update obviously i started the housemaid last night which meant that yesterday is like currently reading was at 10 um i have now finished the housemaid um so i read i think it was 55 pages before i went to sleep um and then i binge read the rest um i really enjoyed it it was between like a 4 and a 4.5 i've currently rated it a 4.5 on goodreads like officially a 4 but i have a feeling that once recency bias kind of wears off I might end up going for more like a four um but I really enjoyed this I do want to pick up the second in the series I have heard it can, it is like a little bit more disappointing um but yeah I really enjoyed this this is the kind of first time that I've picked up a thriller in a while like I think I've been reading a lot of fantasy not really fantasy more like romance um and I think it was just thrillers and some ways scared me like 
not scared scared um but in the sense of like starting a new one especially it being a Frieda McFadden book that is so hyped up so many people enjoy it and it's kind of like you know that kind of it's so hyped up that you're scared and obviously technically I have started another series but you know what this is a series where I wouldn't have started it in a video as such. Now in terms of what book I choose to read next I'm kind of between three. Um, Two of them are on my this month's TBR um, and aren't planned videos um, and then there's another where I bought it recently and it's short. That's the problem. So the two options from my monthly TBR that I've picked is Where the Cruel Dad Sings by Delia Owens or In Between the Atlas 6 in terms of the TBR books. Or the other one that's a little bit shorter, I did buy it more recently, is Murder on the Lusitania, um, Lusitania um, by Edward Marston. Originally earlier in the day when thinking about what I could have picked up, I had thought should I pick up The Locked Door by Frieda McFadden but then I'm kind of thinking I don't want to like Frieda, Frieda McFadden myself out. Um, there is 306 pages so again on the shorter side yeah I don't know what I want to pick. Yeah I'm really stuck. In some ways I think Where the, Where the Cruel Dead Sings is calling to me a little bit more. I know I look like an absolute mess but it is the next day so it is the 12th how many days of this have I done? Is it the 6th? Might be the 6th day. I started on the 7th. Yeah, so it's the 6th day. I chose to start Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is the second in the Chestnut Springs series. This is a, like, 400 and... Oh, wait, no. That's an extra short story. This is 432 pages, which is a bit more than books that I should ideally be starting in order to be able to complete books. Anyway, I've read 90 pages of it so far. It's currently like half. Oh, it's almost 11. I am loving it. I'm loving the banter. I'm loving the interactions with the kid because I don't mind kids in books, but also I feel like if there was too much of a kid in a book, it would feel overwhelming, but this just so far feels like the right amount. We've kind of got to the point where he's actually smiled in front of Willa. So it's between Cade, who is the older brother of Rhett in the first book, and Willa, who is the best friend of Summer in the first book. I'm loving it. I'm loving the banter. I've just got to a scene with like all the family and I'm loving the inappropriate jokes. Loving it. And it's just so much fun how like carefree she is and like the whole family is and it's kind of like you can see how in the book he's going to get to the point where he realizes that he doesn't have to hold everything together for everyone everyone is going to be okay doing their own stuff like they're all adults but losing a parent so young has kind of meant that he took on more of a role as the older brother and you i feel like we're gonna kind of see him loosen up a little it's now the very early hours um of the 16th i think the last time i talked to you was when i started heartless by elsie silver um i'm like a third of the way through the book my currently reading is now 13 um so i think because to give you an update the last book i talked to you about i think again i think was heartless um, I started the book of beginnings. I'm I've read the prologue and the first chapter. Then I started Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Obviously, absolute chunker. This isn't one that I'm going to finish this month, but I wanted to start it. I've read two chapters, so I've read thirty eight pages. Very late last night, I started the Atlas Six. Again, I literally read the prologue. I I didn't know what to put for what to go with just because it was like I'm not gonna go with a fantasy because I'm in the middle of a couple so I've decided to go with In the Weeds by BK Borison I'll probably not start this right now I'll probably start it later tonight when I get back from work in the afternoon obviously I need to sleep first um it's like 300 pages so I think part of me is like 
I was to read a chapter, it's a higher percentage on Goodreads. But yeah, I'm tired, so actually I might not even read. I just kind of wanted to add an update, just because I haven't, and I knew I needed to. I kind of wanted to update this video because it's been a hot minute. Where did that terminology come from? I don't know. Um, so just for reference, the last time I updated you guys was the 15th of March. Currently it's towards the end of the 4th of April. So to run down, I had to make a list, it took me a moment, um, to run down what I started. On the, on the 16th I started In the Weeds by BK Morrison, 17th The Wake Up Call by Beth O'Leary, 18th Impossible Creatures by Catherine Rundle, I think that's the name, I haven't written the authors down for all of them, The Two Lives of Lydia Bird for the 19th, the 20th When in Rome, the 21st The Plotting Shed Murder by Paula Sutton, 22nd Queen of Monsters by Aria Mossy, 23rd Faking It With a Billionaire by Bi Willow Fox, which I DNF'd less than two, like, three chapters or so of the audiobook. It was insta-love, but it was just too insta-love. The 24th, I started Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. 25th, Logging Off by Nick Spaulding. I, I DNF'd this one. Um, the 26th was Rent to Be. 27th, the Double C, um, 28th Gothicana, 29th Welcome to the Cornish Country Hospital, 30th was Tom Lake, 31st was Unexpectantly Ruined, 1st was Killer Instinct by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, the 2nd was The Simple Wild, the 3rd of April, I, which was yesterday, I started Powerless and I haven't yet started a book for today. I should have made this list but you know what we've got good reads open um so i don't currently in my re obviously we haven't included today if we include whatever book i start today my currently reading will be 28. last time i've talked to you i, t I mentioned about how i had finished heartless um by elsie silver obviously i had the two dnfs um and then i finished powerless which obviously i started yesterday um i gave this a four stars i don't think my rating would change it was such a good fun easy read i started it last night read a third of it um and then literally read the last two thirds today in one sitting basically yeah it was one sitting apart from having to do lunch um but it was so nice it's definitely not my favourite, but I did enjoy it. Like, I definitely enjoyed Willa and Cade a little bit more, but at the same time, I did enjoy the spy scenes in here more than what I enjoyed Willa and Cade's, just because I think Willa and Cade was definitely more of that. Saying that this was in, like, a more of a sweeter way, and it felt a little less cringy to me. Yeah, I definitely think it's a good one. Again, not my favourite, just because... It felt like there was so little happening, which I know it's a romance, but I kind of, I think part of me want, I, part of me wanted her subplot explored a bit more. Granted, it ended up being basically the third act conflict. I don't know what book I'll read. So obviously I mentioned that I started The Wake Up Call. I have the physical book with me. I don't actually have the ebook at Actually. However, it is currently on sale for 99p. Um, and obviously, I've done the whole every time I've started a book, I've read like a chapter or two. But yeah, these are so bingeable. Highly recommend. So now you have an angle that is a lot better for me. Also, to be fair, this lighting is alright. But yeah, so during this challenge, a lot of the books I haven't picked up again um, since starting this challenge or like i've read like parts of it so obviously i need to start a new book currently i've got so only two other options with me yeah so i kind of want to start a physical book just based off of what i've got maybe i should obviously work on this book but currently the two so basically my goal throughout this thing is not goal my strategy plan most recently to switch to kindle books just because having the stack of books next to my bed was overwhelming. Obviously, I know I'm going to have to go back to there, but it was just overwhelming. So two of the books that I have with me 
are two of the ones on my like nine book TBR for April. Um, so I have You and Me on Vacation by Emily Henry. Um, again, it's on my TBR and it seems like a nice one to bring. And then I have The Woman on the Ledge, which is a sci sci it's a thriller. So according to one of the reviews, it's listed as like a legal thriller, which it probably is. It is going from the viewpoint of someone who's arrested for a murder and who has secrets. Um, but having finished this, I might actually get to... So this was the book of my TBR, first of all. Um, I might get to the next book in the series. Also because Wild Love is coming out this month, like in less than a week's time. Today's the 4th, almost the 5th. It comes out on the 9th. Um, but also I do want to read Powerful by Lauren Roberts. Um, which is the novella. It will probably end up being You and Me on Vacation, just because in some ways I'm desperate to like binge a book. To be fair though, that book could end up being it, but for now, obviously I need to start a new book. Um, but yeah, I've just found, I've been starting the books, been getting to between like 8 and 30 pages through, and then I've been putting it down and just calling it quits. Which obviously isn't great. Oh, actually, I forgot about a book I finished. So, another book that I forgot to mention about having read was The Mage and the Magpie by Austin J. Bailey. Um, I It was a book that I had started back in, like, September, October time. Um, but, yeah, basically, I managed to get that finished. I don't want to go into this being, like, it felt, like, really bad coming into this being, like, mm, yeah, I haven't read many currently reading 27 basically 28 when we include you and me on vacation because we all know i'm gonna pick that up but yeah i'll probably update you guys at the end of the week is it the 6th or the 7th that i finished this i feel like it might be the 6th i need to look back at my footage to finish to uh, not to finish to find out when that would be 